love my brothers and sisters. Um, I just want to talk about this morning. It was really on my heart to uh, talk about this. And uh, what does it really mean to be a follower of Jesus? And uh, and Jesus, you know, he talked about this. To be a follower of Jesus Christ, you know, you got to deny ourselves. Jesus talked about we must deny ourselves and take up our cross and follow him. Now, what does he mean by that? You know, deny yourself uh, is denying the flesh. Also, you know, you need to repent and uh, turn away from sin. Uh, the thing about repentance, uh, some people might not understand, is um, repenting is not just confessing the sin. It's a two-part thing, two-part process. Is confessing the sins to God, you know, with all your heart, you know, truly, you know, heartfully, you know, wanting, you know, to confess these things to God and you're sorry for these things and you want forgiveness. But the second part is turning away from these sins. And, you know, turning away from sin, that takes God's strength, you know, staying in the word, staying in, you know, getting deep prayer. Um, and, you know, sometimes these we have strongholds these strongholds and these bondages of sin these habitual sins and that really takes god you know relying on his strength and again deep prayer asking god for deliverance from these things or personal sins that you're struggling with and just know this though any bondage of sin you know jesus can break that he's the almighty he could break any chains off of you that you feel that you have chains of and but yeah i just want to talk about you know being a follower of Jesus Christ's responsibilities, and I want to discuss something for myself about myself. Um, before I made all these videos and start making these videos, I had doubts, I had fear, and um, I feared failure. And um, I was like, "What if I start making these videos about?" Because it was on my heart to talk about these things, you know, trying to help other brothers and sisters from sexual sin, especially you know, I'm 22, so it was like, you know. I can relate, and I I see, you know, a lot of young Christians, and it could not just be young Christians, it could be other Christians, you know, um, dealing with sexual sin, and um, how hard that could be, and I just really want to talk about that, and, you know, talk about my journey, and, you know, let other brothers and sisters of Christ um, know about my journey, and how I'm relying on God and everything, and, you know, to help them out, but I have fear about starting to do that, and that's the enemy right there. That's the devil. And I cast out any fear or doubt in Jesus' name. I cast out all that in Jesus' name. And uh, that's truly the enemy trying to just, you know, keep you scared, you know, um, keep you, you know, to doing from what God, you know, called you and wants you to do. And uh, I cast that out in Jesus' name, any fear or doubt. And uh, just know you can do it. Whatever habitual sin or sin you're going through, like, cause I'm, you know, sometimes we feel like we can't do it, but you can do it through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ, you can do it. And anything God put in your life, anything God, you know, uh, got you going through, you know, he did that because, you know, you can handle it and that you can do good things and good works to glorify his name. And, uh, you know, it does take a process it takes time but it only takes one day to start making you know to make that decision that you want to change and start living your life as a living sacrifice and to go through the process of truly you know getting you know asking god for deliverance um you know staying in the word getting in the word more getting in prayer more truly change it that takes a process but um it takes only one day to make that decision it only takes one day but you know um, I just want to also talk about, you know, just because we're saved, you know, you know, if you get baptized, you know, repent for your sins, you get baptized and, you know, you believe in the gospel, believe in Jesus Christ, that, you know, he's your Lord and Savior, that he died on the cross, that Jesus alone saved us. And then, you know, he was, a uh, you know, Jesus Christ was in the flesh. He was a living God in the flesh. Um, all these things, you know, you believe in these things, um, and then, you know, also that he resurrected from the dead on the third day. You know, you're saved. But, you know, just because you're saved doesn't mean we just continue to be the person that we used to be, that sinful person, you know. 
we got to truly change and walk in the newness of life. And I just want to talk about that in uh, Romans, because Romans 6 talk about that, uh, that we have, you know, a responsibility that we need to change and walk in the newness of life. And um, this is Romans 6 right here. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized in Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should also walk in newness of life. When we get baptized or, you know, when we, you know, decide to live our lives and, you know, to serve the Lord, you know, and we repent, you know, that old person we was is buried. Jesus Christ buried that thing. In baptism, we, we come up out that water. We are, that man was buried. That woman you was, was buried. And that you are a new person in the spirit. And, um, you know, and. We're called to be the light of the world. You know, we're called to do good work so they can see the God, the Jesus Christ in us. That, you know, how Jesus Christ is working through us. And that's how we call to be the light of the world. And, um, you know, to walk, you know, our lives as, you know, as, you know, righteously. Um, to walk in our lives as a living sacrifice. Uh, you know, to do good works to glorify Jesus' name. But I want to say something about good works, so. though. We're not saved by our works. Now, faith without works is dead. Yes. But we're not saved by our works. We're saved by God's grace through faith. But being faithful has a great meaning under that. It's not just believing. It's also, you know, it is very much believing in God, believing in Jesus Christ, having faith in that. But being faithful to Jesus is truly, you know, walking in the newness of life. Um, doing the things that he called us to do, following his commandments. He said, for those who love me, you know, follow my, you know, that, you know, they obey my commandments. Um, and, you know, we, we're supposed to do all these things, you know, like, you know, we, we do things, good things out of, you know, because our out of our faith, you know, we, we do these good things just out of our faith, coming to know the love of Jesus Christ. We just want to help people. We want to do good things out of the love of Jesus Christ. And, you know, um, to glorify Jesus and Jesus Christ and to glorify his mighty name. And, but yeah, I just want to say that we're not saved by works. We're saved by God's grace through faith. But, you know, we still have a responsibility. We still need to do good works out of our faith, if that makes sense. That we should want to do good works out of our faith. We have a responsibility because faith without, I mean, um, faith without works is, uh, is dead. So there's a responsibility we're called to do as Christians and um I also want to talk about you know going through um you know this that process of truly changing um truly you know changing that person you know changing the person you was that sinful habit you know, whatever that sin that you was going through that habitual sin you know um it takes process it takes a process it takes time but Jesus Christ can break any chain off of you I just want to keep stressing that Jesus Christ could break any chain off of you he can give you deliverance just you know please ask God for deliverance and give him deep prayer he can do that for you and um you know living this lifestyle as a Christian you know it's not gonna be easy I'm about to just go to the verse right now in second Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 yeah, it's not going to be easy it's going to be things in your life that's going to happen because you know um, you will be hated you know you will have people that persecute you do bad things and you know we're supposed to turn the other cheek we're not supposed to do eye for eye you know we're supposed to turn the other cheek we're supposed to bless those who persecute you it's going to be things in your life at times as a Christian you're just not going to stand it's going to be so tough but the second two um, yeah second Timothy chapter 2 verse 2 well, not verse 2, verse 3. Sorry about that. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Right there. This is Timothy talking about this. We are soldiers. We soldiers for Jesus. And, uh, you know, we're going to go through hard times, but, you know, we're going to make it. 
Because God already been made a way for us. We soldiers for Jesus. We stay faithful. We got to stay faithful to the end. We need to endure to the end. Keep fighting that good fight of faith. We got to fight that good fight of faith to the end. And, you know, the enemy going to throw stuff at us in our life to make us, you know, turn away from God, to get us out of our Bible, to get us, you know, stop praying as much as we're supposed to do it, to stop praying. And, um, you know, we got to keep fighting, fighting that good fight of faith to the end. And God been made a way for us. And we got to keep staying faithful to the end. And you can do it. You can definitely do it. And I just want to spread that encouragement to you. Like, you can do it. You can do it through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. That's the main thing. Through Jesus Christ, you can do it. And, uh... When the enemy throw out certain things in your life, I mean, certain things in your life that, you know, just make things harder for you, make things tougher for you. This is why we got to stay in the word. Know the word for yourself. Don't let people, you know, just tell you, even for me talking to you about this, you know, um, know the word for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Know the word. Because the Bible, the word of God is sharper than the two-edged sword. So, like, when we have things in our life that, you know, that's just tough or an enemy throw stuff in us knowing the word we could be like oh that ain't right like whatever he's saying or whatever that just happened that, that ain't right because the word of god don't support that like i know the word of god so like um uh, i could just cast that out in jesus name or you know walk how i'm supposed to walk because i know the word that's why you're supposed to know the word for yourself but um you know but yeah i just want to talk about being a follower of christ and follower of jesus it's an amazing thing god you know you know, he gives us blessings. Um, he do so many wonderful things, but we, we have a purpose. We have a, a calling to do. And we're called to be the light of the world. And we, we have a responsibility being a follower of Jesus. And uh, I just want you to know, you can do it through Jesus Christ. You can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthen both me and you. And uh, I just want to spread that encouragement. You can do it. Whatever habitual sin you're going through, you feel like, you know, it's just hindering. You just hold it. It's just holding you back. Get in that prayer get in that prayer and you know just just be intimate be real with god and stuff you struggle with he will help you he really will he truly cared for us he sent his only son jesus christ to die for us and die for our sins and he resurrected on the third day because he truly loved us he sent his son you know jesus christ to not condemn the world but through him to to, to might save it to save it and um yeah you know jesus christ you know through him we can do anything you know when we get in you know when i get in prayer or if you get in prayer like i don't know about you but when i get done getting a good prayer like i feel good like especially worshiping and then when you feel the holy ghost come upon you like i'll be feeling strength and i feel like i'm invincible because that's jesus christ strength he be making me feel invincible and you know through jesus christ you can do it i'm gonna keep stressing that you can do it and uh i just want to spread the encouragement I just want to talk about, you know, truly, you know, what it means to follow Jesus. That we have responsibility as uh, followers of Jesus Christ that, you know, we're saved by God's grace through faith. Just want, I don't want to talk. I touched on that. But that don't mean that we just don't do anything, you know, because faith without good works is dead. But our works don't save us. God's grace saved us through faith. And then I just want to talk about, you know, that I talked about uh, how, you know, fear and doubt. That could stop you and hindering you from what God calls you and wants you to do. Cast that out in Jesus' name. That's the enemy right there. Cast that out in Jesus' name. But, you know, I just want to touch on all these things today. And I love you. If you got uh, any um, prayer requests, put it in the comments. And more than anything, God loves you. And whatever you got going on in your life, and he put in your life, he put in your life because he know you can handle it and do great things to glorify his name, our Father in heaven. Jesus Christ. But yeah, um, be blessed. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name, I love you.